The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Rosie Harrigan. <laughs> Darling, I feel so terrible about being broke and sponging off of you. Now, now, what are old school friends for? Well, we'll have to live off of caviar the rest of the week. Not for me, thank you. I'm allergic to caviar. Every time I eat that, I break out in hives. <laughs> oh, Lucy, I just don't have any talents. I'm used to getting by on charm. Oh, well, now. Being charming and gracious is nothing to frown at, you know. Yes, but charm doesn't pay the bills. Rosie, you know something? What? It can pay the bills. What? You could open a charm school. Oh, what a marvelous idea. Oh, no, that takes money. Now, where am I going to get money to open a charm school? That's where you can begin using your charm, on our tight-fisted banker, Mr. Mooney. He adores you. Ah, bonjour, monsieur. Entrez, entrez. Carlton, son. Wow. I was so excited when you asked me to come over here that I, I ran all the way. Oh. <laughs> and I imagine a man of your powerful build can run very fast. Oh, well. I was quite athletic as a youth. <laughs> oh, yes, at one time I was supposed to go to the Olympics, but I married Irma that year instead. <laughs> what a shame. Oh, you are so right. <laughs> oh, and my. you are so amusing. Oh, Yo, really? I didn't think it was that. I really oh, hi, no, no. Mr. Mooney. Oh, hello, Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> Are you ready for tea, Countess? Oh, yes. Voulez-vous du thé, monsieur? Mm hmm? Do you want some tea? Oh, tea? Si. Uh, oui. Right in, Thank you very much. Oh, please, please be seated. Oh, thank you. I've thank you so, so looked forward to chatting with you. Oh, oh, I'm honored, Countess, honored. You know, you are like a breath of culture here in Danfield. Oh, now, monsieur, vous êtes si séduisant. Oh, I didn't know. I I thought she'd never leave. Now, Lucy is a wonderful person. She wants to leave us alone because, frankly, um, I have a little favor to ask of you. A favor? Of me, a lowly commoner? Yes, Mr. Money. <laughs> that, that, that Mooney. <laughs> of course, you can call me Theodore. <laughs> or even Teddy. Uh, Theodore. Well, I'm glad 
glad that you spoke of culture. Because, frankly, I think Danfield could use a little culture. Oh, my sentiments, exactly. Yes. <laughs> but then I am sure you can understand why I'd like to open a charm school here in Danfield. A charm school? Oh, what a wonderful idea. I couldn't help overhearing. <laughs> now, what do you think of this idea? Why, Countess, with you in charge, a charm school would be sensational. Oh. Oh, I knew a man of your breeding would agree with me. Oh. <laughs> There's just one tiny little problem. Money. Uh, you see, all of my money is tied up in a Swiss bank. Oh, well, uh, couldn't you send for it? Uh, well, you see, uh, my bank is way up on one of those Alps, and it takes the postman forever to get there. <laughs> Your bank. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, Countess, Countess, much as it hurts me to say this, my bank is not in a financial position to advance alone just now. Teddy, I was so counting on you. Counting on Teddy? Yes. Oh, fudge. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There is a Mr. and Mrs. Dunbar from New York in town. Now, they were discussing investments only yesterday. Now, they might be just the ones to back your venture. You really think so? Oh, Countess, once they meet you, how could they resist? I'd oh. be, after all, I, uh, I'll go and arrange a meeting right away. Oh, Teddy, yes, Teddy, yes, yes. you are wonderful. <laughs> no, yeah! <laughs> tingled like this since they came out with plaid checkbooks. <laughs> arrange a meeting right now. But au revoir, au revoir, au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> Oh, no, I bet the Dunbars won't be as easy to charm as Mr. Mooney. Oh. Now, how am I going to prove to those people that I can make this thing a success? Lucy, I don't know anything about teaching charm. Rosie, I have a plan. Did you see my fair lady? Yes. Now, listen. would only be a start, Mrs. Dunbar. I'm planning to spread the Countess Framboise charm method all over the world. Well, heaven knows the world needs more charming people. <laughs> I think it sounds expensive. The quiet, Fred. <laughs> Pay no attention to my husband. He made all of his money in oil. Crude oil. <laughs> Well, now, as I was saying, all I require is enough capital for this little suite of offices. Well, uh, Countess, and... I think your charm school sounds fascinating. But why waste it on this place? Everybody in Danfield is so, uh, common. We only come here to visit Fred's relatives. <laughs> but, my dear, that is the challenge. Out there are hundreds of women who haven't the faintest idea how to walk or talk or dress. I am longing to bring them the Countess Framboise charm method. Yes, I am ready. I am ready. Now, if there was only something I could do to prove to you what I am... <laughs> business here. Go right on ahead. Ain't gonna bother me none. Uh, well, now, as I was saying, Mrs. Dunbar, about our investment, you yes. see, it would be, uh, Lady, your whistling is annoying us. Lady. Eh? Your whistling is annoying us. Oh, yeah. I don't whistle so good since I had my two front teeth knocked out in a fight. <laughs> I deplore fighting. Yeah, me too. I get a kick out of it. <laughs> but now, as to our investment... Well, Countess, in... before we would dream hey, of... Hey, what time is it, fat lady? <laughs> <laughs> it's 12 o'clock. Oh, boy, I gotta feed my face. Oh, um... Ooh. Hehehehe. <laughs> 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 
She's a victim of society. In fact, she's exactly the type that my school could help. Do you think you could help her? Uh, quiet, Fred. Uh, do you think you could help her? <laughs> well, it might be a very interesting challenge. Now, let me give her a few tests. Uh, uh, pardon me. What'd you do? <laughs> I would love to talk to you, Miss, uh, Miss, uh, uh... Lump Womper. <laughs> Lies a lump womper. I come from a long line of lump wompers. Uh, <laughs> lump womper. Well, I'd like to play a little game with you, Miss Lump Womper. Oh, what do you want to play, honey? You got some dice? <laughs> no, no, no. I would like you to say, the rain in Maine falls plainly on the grain. Now, why would you want me to say a stupid thing like that? <laughs> it ain't even cloudy out. <laughs> How do you know it's raining in me? Now, now. I was just trying to study your speech habits. Well, I don't have any habits. I just say what comes to my mind. Uh, but I'd like you to recite something. You mean like a poem? Yes, a poem. I mean a poem. Oh, I know a loverly poem. Oh, good. Yeah, it's called... Uh, Pull Down! Mother, Daddy's leading a shady life. <laughs> I'm standing in front of the local saloon, and I saw him dancing with him. Oh, the best part's coming. No, <laughs> never, never mind. Now, can you do anything else? Yeah. I can call her. Oh, that's very good. Come here. Down that. Sue! What a dreadful sound. You wouldn't say that if you was a hog. <laughs> Countess, I think you'd be wasting your time trying to transform this person. You'll never be a Pygmalion to this Galatea. You watch your language. <laughs> I'll tell anybody that says I'm one of them. Now, now. Now, now, let's call. Not till fat lady apologizes. I apologize? Well, that's more like it. <laughs> you better learn some manners. Why can't you be nice like your son here? <laughs> Countess! Countess, it would indeed be a miracle if you could do anything with that person. Then I accept your challenge. I what will make challenge? A challenge? I will make a lady out of this poor creature. If you will give a party next Friday night at your hotel, I will bring Miss Lumpwamper. Bring her to a party of mine. I give you my royal word that she will be a completely new person. And if my charm method works, Will you finance my school? Well, I don't know. Shut up, Fred. <laughs> we'll do it, Countess. Ah. But I don't see how you can make a silk purse out of that sow's ear. That does it, lady. Okay, I'm gonna knock your teeth out. Now, 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 now. I will take this poor, wretched bit of flotsam and jetsam, battered, and buffeted by the stormy sea of life, and I will perform a complete metamorphosis. <laughs> what are you going to do to who? I shall make a lady out of this dreary, drab, 
Sludge. This slovenly... Slod. Slod. <laughs> now, I have work to do. If I am going to perform Miss Miracle, I'll need every minute. Every minute for the next ten years, I would think. Well, now, my dear, I will see you Friday at your suite, eight o'clock. Until then, yes. Countess. Yes, hello. Bye-bye, <laughs> Fred. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-
I can't help it. I itch in front of all these people. Stop for a minute. Oh, oh dear. Here comes that Mrs. Balance. Let's get out here. Come oh. on. Oh, Countess. Countess. Uh, yes, oh, my dear. Countess, my husband and I are going to France next month, and we would love to see your chateau. Oh. How do we get there? Uh, well, it's rather difficult to explain. That means you take the boat from Le Havre to Paris, then you go south to Marseille, then up to Lyon. Uh, why don't you draw a map? A map? Yes. Right here. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a marvelous idea that I can explain here, yes. yes. Well, now, you take the boat train from Le Havre to Paris. Oh. <laughs> now, while you're in Paris, I would suggest that you see the Eiffel Tower. Oh, it's, it's higher. It is. <laughs> very, very tall, very tall. And it has a very broad base. <laughs> yes. A very broad base. Now, don't, don't get it confused with the Arc de Triomphe, which is shaped like this. Oh. <laughs> You should see both of them, though. <laughs> well, once you've left, Par left Paris, you go straight to Marseille. Oh. Yes. Then you go north to Lyon. Oh, would you go south again? No. <laughs> we are going to take the scenic route. You see, from Lyon, it's very nice to take the scenic route, which is perfectly charming. <laughs> and has all kinds of trees and lovely, lovely countryside. Oh, I adore that scenic well, you just ask anybody around, and they will direct you to my chateau. Oh, oh thank you so much. We're just itching to get started. Oh, oh dear. Give me that trip through no, France no, again. I cannot stand it. Oh, I, I cannot do, stand it. I can't stand scratch it. you all the time. I can't stand it. Well, what can we do? Oh. Listen, put some ice on my back. Maybe that'll relieve yes, it. Yes, come on. Let's try that. Here, now. Right here, I'll try to find some. <laughs> you see, old people are watching. Oh, get me a big chunk. Well, it's slippery. I can't find any. Wait a oh, minute. let me get it. Let right, me get it. Miss Lumpwalker, what are you doing? Uh, 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 oh, uh, did you find my earring nicer? Uh, what? Uh, my uh, earring uh, dropped in the punch Oh, ball. no, I, I haven't found yes, it yet. Yes, well, do try, my dear. Uh, uh, She's searching for my earring. I lost one, you see. But, Countess, you're wearing your earring. Yes, well, it's a spare. I always carry a spare. <laughs> uh, my dear, never mind, just never mind. I wonder if you'd mind uh, excusing us, please, Mrs. Dunbar. Liza, I think we should go home. No, no, I'll be all right. If I could just find some place to hide for some uninterrupted scratching. I know, but there are people in every room. Well, I'll find a place. We, we've almost got these people convinced we don't want to do anything wrong now. No. We'll have to start from scratch. Oh, no, why did I say that? <laughs> Miss Lumpwalker. Uh, well, I'm not sure. I think she's rubbed here somewhere. Well, it's time to unveil the statue. Oh, dear. Well, Attention, everybody. Everybody. Gather round. Gather round, everybody. It's unveiling time. The new work by that great futuristic sculptor, Gabonzo. <laughs>
Right at the base of the Eiffel Tower. Oh. <laughs>